Now then, Dame Vivian Westwood's clothes have been worn by, well, everyone really, celebrities, rock stars and politicians, while her political beliefs have backed once the Labour Party, the Conservative Party and most recently the Green Party. And after decades at the forefront of fashion, the Queen of Punk has published her memoirs in diary form, joins me now from the Cheltenham Festival. And a very good morning to you, Dame Vivian. Very good to see you. Now, uh, I hear you want to start with a message for us. Hello, listen, I, I can't hear very well because I'm going deaf, but I've got a message and the message is in this book, these diaries, and that's why I'm here to tell this message. But I've also got the solution, which isn't in the book, I hadn't worked it out at that point. And I'd really like to tell you what it is, this message. So I'm going to go right ahead, which is that our problem, you know, I care about climate change. It means mass extinction very soon unless we do something about it. Everybody knows this. And so this is the message that the world is controlled by one million people control seven billion. We all know who the seven billion are. And the one million is this. It is the banks, the big conglomerate monopolies like Monsanto and Shell, and it is the politicians who serve them. This is the one million people, and they do it, the power they have is through the rotten financial system. They control everybody through the rotten financial system, through austerity and through siphoning off the profits at the other end. This is what is killing us. It's also causing climate change, and there's a way out of it. The thing is, the same people are always in power. You know, think about voting. You might as it doesn't matter who you vote for, they're all the same. They're power driven, they're anti people, they're killing us, and there is a solution. Because what we think is that there is no opposition, and there is amazing opposition, and it's you, the viewer. And we could come, our enemy is the rotten financial system. And what we've got to do is get a green economy and that will solve everything. And the way you do it, you do it now, today, is all you've got to do is change to green energy. It's cheaper than the normal energy. And normal energy, this fossil fuel energy, is heavily, heavily subsidised by the taxpayer. The more people join and have free, cheap, elect cheap electricity, the more cheap it will become and it will save the world. You can save the world by turning it into a green economy. It's very, very simple. Please save us. We've all got to help. This is my message. That is the solution. Change to green energy. There's already 20% of the country does it. If you imagine, it would change everything. It would change all the fossil fuel industry, all the death, everything it would give us freedom. But you say, That's Dame it. Vivian, your enemy is the, the status quo, and we've heard it volubly there. You know there are people yes. listening to you right now saying, but Vivian Westwood now is the status quo. She's a dame. She runs a company that makes millions of millions of pounds who charges hundreds and thousands of pounds for her products. Um, all I can say is it's value for money. I think my company's a company for the future. Buy less, choose well, make it last. It's not cheap labour. It's labour intensive, it's skilled. People are happy doing it. It's quality, not quantity. This is how we save the world. And buy less. But you can even... Even the, all these people who come up with all these plastic bags full of landfill that they wear, you could, you could get one thing from me in the sale. It would last you. Well, Dan Vivian, you used to think, you say the answer is not now in the political parties, but you used to think that, didn't you? you I mean, you've been a member or helped out at various times, the Conservatives, the Labour Party and now the Greens. Do you think action now lies in a different form, perhaps on the streets? Listen, you know, I can't hear you very well, but I know you're talking about politics. And this is the way to control our politics for people. This is what I'm talking about. It's completely a very few people 
are in charge of seven billion. And the seven billion don't have any power. But I'm telling you, you do have power. And, and so it's, it's not about voting. It's about letting Theresa May know that there is a big focus of opposition in this country. Most people are opposed to what the government does, but they don't have any way to express this opposition. And I'm giving you a way to express your opposition and to have more power than Theresa May has. This is what I'm telling you. It's not about voting, but by all means, you know, I, I always vote for the Green Party because up until now there was nobody else to vote for. But we've got Jeremy Corbyn and we've got the Scottish Nationalist and I hope they're more inclined to be green than the others who are nothing to do with it. The fossil fuel industry is incredibly heavily subsidised by the taxpayer and also by austerity because the poor get poor, poorer in order that the, the subsidy can be given to the fossil fuel industry. So just go cheap and it gets cheaper and cheaper. Well, Dame Vivian, thank you very much Power indeed. Power to the people. <laughs> we got the message. Yeah. Thank you very much indeed. And yeah. uh, very sorry you had a bit and of trouble hearing us. And the solution. We got it. Dame Vivian, thank you very much indeed. And there she's off on a lovely day in Cheltenham, uh, Dame Vivian Westwood at uh, the Cheltenham Literary Festival. Uh, her diaries uh, out now called Get a Life. Phew.